Hi everyone, welcome to the Thirsty Chill Pill Slauncher Ruth. Thank you, Slauncher. Well, last week, we didn't talk about this yet, but last week we went to uh, District Assembly. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. We had yeah. such a good time. And really by the great. way, Ruthie here is now the... Uh, <laughs> Ruthie. <laughs> is the District Missionary President. Yeah, that was and an so, honor. It's really an honor to, to have that. And you gave a great talk at the Assembly, oh, too. Well, it was thank wonderful. You. Thank you, darling. But yeah. it's awesome to be, as you guys know, my whole life's been about missions, so... It's uh, been great to, um, I don't know, I feel like God giving me a, uh, an opportunity, but also I feel it like it's a great honor and privilege to work with everybody on the district yeah. on this. And so I look forward to this yeah. year and pray God's blessing and guidance. But it was lovely to spend time fellowshipping with everybody. And yeah. first day, terrible rain. Remember? Oh, yeah, it really did but pour down. after that, we had some nice yeah. times. Lovely campgrounds out yeah. there in St. Mary's. For those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. it's in St. Mary's, Ohio. And so once a year, all the pastors and, and a number of people from various churches across Ohio, Northwest Ohio, uh, meet together to report about their churches, what's going on, mm -hmm. talk about missions, Sunday school, so on and so forth. And it's... Good time to catch up too with other other people in ministry and encourage yeah. each other. And like everything else, mm -hmm. uh, it was different this year. But yeah, so, very. All wearing masks the whole time. <laughs> yeah, and then I was so fed up with breathing my own carbon dioxide at the I end know. of the whole thing. Like, <laughs> but then also things were recorded or yeah. were live uh, online so that people could watch mm -hmm. um, at home and stuff. So it was very good. Really and we had missionaries it. from Africa. Yeah, from Kenya. The, uh, from from the, Kenya. African Nazarene University. Yeah, that, that was, was really cool. Very interesting. So. And they had students. They've got students from all over the place, all from over all over world, Africa. Yeah. That was great. So today what we're going to do is continue reading some verses in Proverbs. We've got some good ones for you today. Mm -hmm. It's from Proverbs 15. It says, you know, when you're reading Proverbs, by the way, it seems a little disconnected, but that's how it's meant to be. It's just basically words of wisdom and it right. doesn't necessarily all connect it's together. It's not like telling a story or anything. It's not a story, it's not kind of a narrative, it's just basically mm -hmm. powerful words. Yeah. Anyway, it says a happy heart makes the face cheerful. That's true. But heartache crushes the spirit. Yes. So if you're happy, at some point it should show on your face. Right. Like that we song though too, if you're happy yeah. and you know it clap your hands. Yeah. So there's always, well, not always, but there's often an outward show if yeah. you're happy, right? Right, but we're not always happy in no. this in this life. You know, someone gets hurt, mm -hmm. someone's sick, somebody dies. So, you know, our heart's not always happy all the time. Right. Of course, we can still have an inner peace and an inner contentment even when we go through really hard times, but you're not always going around smiling. No, that's Some true. Someone once said they didn't trust anybody that smiled that did all the do time. That. Yeah, because that's not real <laughs> life, is it? No. If somebody's smiling like all the time, you've got to think to yeah. yourself, I wonder, did they mean that smile really? Yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> another one. The discerning heart, in other words, someone that has wisdom, seeks knowledge. Mm -hmm. But the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. Oh my gosh, isn't that true? In other words, you know, for example... Feeding on folly would be like people that don't really know the whole story. They mm -hmm. get someone tells them something about someone else, and then they start believing it. That's mm -hmm. folly. That's a big mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I would say never uh, take someone's word for who a person is. You mm -hmm. should always find out for yourself because people do that all the time. That you know that sometimes it's character assassination. Yes. And that can be hard, you know, people talking about a person or talking about what this person supposedly said. And you should always get it from the horse's mouth and Double never check. never believe what who a person is based on what other people say about them because you could find out that you were wrong. And so that's folly. Well, I often but, think about the story of so Jesus. So you seek knowledge, in other words. Jesus himself, like the same yeah. people, and I think about this a lot in life, that towards the end of his life, the same people that were putting the palm uh, branches down and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Crucify him. Within days, they were mm -hmm. shouting, crucify him. 
because their people had yeah. twisted their minds against him. Oh, you know, oh, Jesus is, yeah. do you know what he's really doing? Do you and know what he's really, really about? He's really He's the religious. enemy, and people yeah. believe it. You know, there's this mm -hmm. thing of the mob, how yeah. you can easily uh, turn people against someone else. Right, and even though he had literally been going around helping yep. people, making people well, you know, feeding all those thousands of people, and all of these wonderful things, like in a flash, forgotten. Mm -hmm. Because somebody, you know, cooks up this amazingly dramatic story about Jesus, and then they all start believing it. Yeah. Next thing you know, he's nailed to a cross. And also, remember this, sometimes somebody will tell you an actual downright lie. Mm -hmm. And they'll do it, I'm not saying they're necessarily a horrible person. I don't know why people do that, but they might tell you a real lie about someone. Mm -hmm. And they might even say, guess what they said about you. Yeah. And it could be a total lie. And mm -hmm. some people do that mm -hmm. because they want you to like them or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know what the reason would be for doing that, but some people do do it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if you if someone ever does that to you, challenge it. Go to the person and say, hey, did you really say this about me? Yeah, find out more information. Yeah, don't just suddenly think, oh, I'm not, I don't want anything more to do with that person. No, one of the things people say is like, well, I heard. Yeah, I heard. I, I heard such and such. And they never come up with exact people who said it sometimes or... No, I can't remember where I heard it, but I definitely heard it. I heard, and yeah, then, I heard oh, it's a dangerous kind you know, of thing. And so, well, where did you hear it? And if you don't know if you really heard it, I'm going to wait until I find out for sure if this is true. Yeah. So that's why it's saying there, the wise person will actually go after yeah. the knowledge until you're for sure that you know something, as yeah. opposed to listening to a bunch of hoo-ha from somebody and going off on it, and then next thing yeah. you know, you're angry with people, and you have enemies, and maybe there's no foundation to it at all. Yeah, it's you best know? not to just go on that, you know, I heard, you should actually be able to say who you heard it from. Yeah. If you're going to say it in the first place, mm -hmm. you might as well say, well, I heard this from so-and-so, mm -hmm. so that can actually be checked, because people, we all do this though, we, we sometimes can put spins on things. Mm -hmm. The spin room, whatever Because we want that to is. try and influence how a person's thinking about yeah. something. Oh, yeah. about this one. Better a little with the fear of the Lord, in other words, respect and trusting God, mm -hmm. than great wealth with turmoil. That's true. So, yeah. so sometimes be, it's better to have real peace in your heart than right. have a lot of money and have turmoil going on mm -hmm. in your heart at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the last one is better a meal of vegetables, which is interesting because <laughs> you like vegetables. I like, like vegetables. I don't says, eat meat. Better a meal of vegetables <laughs> where there is love yes. than a fattened calf with hatred. Oh, poor calf. I don't want to. Well, it's not really calf. about the calf. It's just about <laughs> the fact that, <laughs> you know, you might have a, a, a slap up steak and it might be absolutely amazing. But it's not really great if you're mm -hmm. eating it with someone where there's not love. Right. You might as well have some peas and a few carrots. <laughs> with someone that loves you, it's better that than eating with somebody that yeah. really doesn't like you. And honestly, we've said this so many times in this chill pill, these chill pills. It's like life yeah. goes so fast that it's terrible to waste it on, yeah. you know, believing lies, hating on people twisting stories, you know, sharing hatred or heart, you know, negative things to people instead of loving people, love, caring, love yeah, caring for people and yeah. sharing that love around yeah. and being nice to people and just trying to make life a little easier for as many yeah. people as we can. The best thing in life is to walk with the Lord. Right. Just Every day. Just, yeah. Just walk with the Lord. You don't you don't need to think you're better than anyone else. No. You don't need to be judgy. But just walk with God for yourself mm -hmm. and uh, love on people, mm -hmm. you know. And that can be hard because some people can mm -hmm. really try to pull you down, especially people that can get under your skin. Mm -hmm. But the greatest thing to do is, is walk with God and mm -hmm. keep praying, keep talking to God all the time, keep reading. Mm -hmm. Um, and encouraging each other. Encourage other people. Don't yeah. pull each other down. Life can be hard at yeah. times, and it's good to encourage. Remember my mom and dad always used to say mm -hmm. that, that one of the amazing gifts 
in, in the Christian life is to encourage other people. Yeah. To be an encourager, to help people along in life, yeah. doesn't mean handing out money or any of that stuff. I mean, if you can, and it's nice, but I'm just saying it's really about kind of coming up alongside somebody, praying with them, listening to them, and just helping them through life as opposed to making life more complicated yeah. by spreading lies and rumors about people. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you know, you want to be able to put your own head on the pillow and know, oh, yeah. know that your conscience is clear, mm -hmm. that you've had a good day, that you've yeah. done what's right by I other agree. people. So, I agree. Anyway. Mm-hmm. What do we have to say? We, we were yeah. told that we missed it in some time. Did we? In oh. some of these sessions. So we have yeah. to say it. Cheerio. Pip, pip. Oh, pip, pip first, yeah. And cheerio. Cheerio.